Ajitin, uh, a tough, a tough day on a, on a good batting pitch. How do you reckon the guys stood up to that? Oh, I couldn't commend them anymore. I think the toil they put in today was high end. Um, the way they tried different things to take wickets, the way they, the different fields they had, the way they fielded. I think. I mean, to take those th three wickets tonight was a testament of the work they'd done in the first two sessions to form honest with it. I think we're, we're pretty happy with how it's ended up, four down. Obviously, we'd like them six down, ten all out, but, you know, you're in the subcontinent and you're just playing different conditions. And how, how were the guys in terms of the resilience out there, the conditions, the big stand that sort of occupied them for 56 overs or, or something? Were they uh, at the break after the afternoon? Were they sort of heads up? Yeah, guys were fizzing all day. I mean, it's, it's, it really is surprising. I suppose back in the day, we'd have got a lot of people down. But um, we talk about the positive moments and, and trying to affect the game positively. Um, and the guys went out in that third session knowing what they had to do, but also with, a, with enough energy to be able to affect it. And, um, I was, I'm just really proud of going through that. It's pretty hot out there. It was pretty docile at times. Probably expected it to do a little bit more this morning. It didn't, but that's okay. We'll figure out, find out if it does the same tomorrow or not. But um, no, it was, it was a pretty strong day for the lads. In terms of your side of things on spin, how nice was it to see Jack back inside there? And, and how important was he today in terms of, I don't know, buying the team a little bit of time and, and dragging it back when, when the runs were getting away a bit a little bit? Oh, look. Jack was amazing. I mean, coming back after his first test after a while, I think he was top draw. And, setting the fields he'd set, and, but then bowling to those fields. So I think he was, perf he was perfect in what he did. Um, and so was Bash. Bash missed a little bit, but ultimately he was, he was pretty good. Wicket for, for Chris Wokes there at the end and also the team, but what effect can that have on, on Chris for the rest of this series in terms of confidence and momentum, given his overseas record and the chat about that going into today? Chris has bowled well all season. I, he always does. I mean, I thought he bowled well again today. He, he tried everything that we all did. We set different fields and, and not always the opportunity comes. But to get that wicket tonight, I think that proves that he's a skillful bowler no matter where he is. To get the ball to go away from Bubba at the end of the day on a flat wicket and then nip one back, it's pretty decent. Are you pleased with the effort from... from the other seamers today, it wasn't easy going, was it? But Gus stuck in there and... and 100%, so mate. Carsey was amazing, wasn't he? He was up at 90 mile an hour. Gus taking wickets at the back end of the day through skill alone, let alone just the pace that he's usually produced. The seamers were fantastic. You know, they, they, they were dripping, dripping by the time they came back in, but they still went back out. And they still went back out with an energy to try and take another wicket and look for the next opportunity. I think they did as well as they could today on, on a wicket that didn't resume. Did the pitch surprise you? I mean, there's a lot of chat in the run-up about how it might be quite green, then it looked like it had a little of a bit of a trim this morning. Was, was a surprise there? Yeah, I mean, we didn't really know what sort of pitch we were going to be facing against. It's been covered all week. You know, we had a little look at it yesterday. It looked like it had been watered, but also it's so hot here, it dries very quickly. Um, we thought it might nip around a bit more this morning just because it's fresh, but it did, maybe did it for five overs, almost like a one-day wicket. But um, it just... It didn't really keep the pace like we thought it would throughout the game because of the grass cover. We thought it might have a bit more pace throughout the day. It didn't really keep that, and I think that's just the heat, but you still got to take 10 wickets and then look to take the next 10 wickets, don't you? So we, um, we've just got to keep looking at different ways, and whether that's different lengths, different lines, just keep finding ways to do it. With that, with the pitch being cut this morning, I mean, I, I know you probably wouldn't have changed your team at all, but that's the risk you run, isn't it, when, oh, when you mate. name your team? <laughs> It's not my pitch, I'm away from home. Like, it's a pitch is a pitch, so. No, it doesn't bother me. Okay, get the front end. Hey, this is Abu Bakr from Creek Week. Uh, so, do you think, as today's there was uh, not much help for the bowlers from the pitch, so do you think it will, uh, we, we can some, see some turn and spin uh, later in the test match, like on day three or day four? Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I haven't actually seen the pitch since um, today, but since lunchtime today so you'd expect there'd be some wear and tear on the pitch and you know just you'd expect Pakistan spinners to get spin out of it just as ours will but the game will play at its own pace um, 
there's no, for, no point in trying to force that pace. The wicket will allow whoever to do whatever they need to do at, at the right time. It's just who's in the right position to be able to do that, but also who's willing to affect it. Last question. Uh, don't you think your pacer was, uh, were not uh, bowling on the channel? They were a bit fuller, especially with the uh, first new ball. Uh, we were trying to take wickets, mate. Uh, we're trying to nick guys off. We had people behind the wicket, so we want to bowl fuller. We want to challenge batters. You know, we'd, we we would like to get ten wickets every day, every time we bowl. So, you know, there's there's always a, a hindsight. There's always a different look at how we could play, how we could play the game. But I, I think the guys were pretty good today at changing, chopping and changing their plans very well. Thank you. Cheers, Jim. No worries. Thank you. Have a good night.